The Austin Independent School District reporting it is on track now to complete all 900 backlogged special education evaluations by the end of today. The district owned up to the issue earlier this summer. They promised to make it right by June 30th today. KXAN education reporter Alex Capriello followed up on that promise to find out how the district has made that progress so quickly. Like most dads, Justin Marlin wants the world for his children. She's a great student. We're really proud of her attitude and effort in class. That's why it hurt him to wait months for his eight-year-old daughter to receive the special education evaluation that state law said she should have within 45 days. If approved, she would have received additional resources and support in her daily education. We were just waiting and waiting and waiting and didn't hear anything. In June, his daughter finally received her evaluation. Marlin's happy to report she won't be needing any extra help. Likewise, AISD was pleased to share it's almost finished evaluating every student that needs one. And every single um, step and every effort has been uh, to ensure that our students and our families are um, deserving and we're committed to ensuring that they have what they need. The district tells me they've already implemented changes to make sure a student backlog of this magnitude never happens again. AISD examined the list of 900 and found discrepancies, duplicate names, students who have left the district, and even students whose parents never even requested an evaluation. Around 150 kids were removed from the log. A team of staffers will now closely monitor the data and connect with families on a more consistent basis. Continue to do accuracy and integrity checks, and again, continuing to humanize the students and families and looking at each and every one of the cases. A department reorganization has added a system of accountability to ensure the district is in compliance with state standards. It's unfortunate that it took so long, but it is nice to see them um, see things happening now. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. Disability Rights Texas is representing several families who are suing AISD over a failure to evaluate their children. That organization has heard from at least one parent today whose evaluation still has not been completed. During the pandemic, children across the country have had to wait longer to get the help that they need. According to Education Trust, 10 states have had an overall increase in wait times for a student to get an evaluation. And the rates of early intervention services, which are critical to a student's success, have dropped in 15 states. Education Trust also points out that many states are not even keeping track, and that makes it difficult to know how many children have been affected.